Okay, so we're into the third part of this demo. So part three of four, getting latest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some changes up on the server that we don't have in Visual Studio on our local machine. So we're gonna do that using the Azure Repos web interface. And then what we're gonna do is do something called a fetch and a pull to bring those changes back down to our local machine. All right, so here we are in the web interface. And one of the things that's kind of nice is that you can make simple edits here right through the web interface. So let's go in to our hello world code and go into program.cs. And when we check this in, we commented out the line that actually did hello world, the stuff that actually prints out the message to the console. So if we want to edit this, come over here to edit, click that edit button, and now we're in edit mode. So let's get rid of that comment and commit that change. Supply the comment for the commit and then hit the commit button. And well, that's pretty much it. But on the other hand, this is a change that only exists up on the server. It doesn't exist on our development machine. So how do we actually get that? Well, in the next part of the demo, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So next demo, get changes onto the local workstation.